Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well today we're gonna go flying again with Mike. We're gonna do an IFR flight plan from Orange County to Block Island. Uh, so that should be fun. Um, so we're gonna file. The weather is pretty much poor at Orange County, but we're gonna get through that. Um, and at, at Block Island, it looks like it's at minimums. Uh, 2 eight has an LPV on the RNAV approach, which um, you have the glide path and 8 does not have that, so 2.8 gets us a little bit lower. So we're going to try 2.8 um, and see if we can get in. Uh, right now it's hovering around minimums, around 300 feet um, and a mile, just over a mile of visibility. So that's the minimums we have at Block Island. So we study that. I'm going to see how I do. I shouldn't be wearing a hood because we'll be an actual IMC and along the route here and there. So let's see how I do. So stick around. Let's go get Mike in the plane. See you guys in a bit. You can say welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're glad to have you. Two That's videos you in like two weeks. I know. Right? Got Mike Mike back. Well, he signed me off last time, so I yeah. passed. Well, now wait for uh, the check ride date. And we're going to go do some actual today to Block Island, looks like, right? Yeah. We filed. That's at least what we planned. Lost my pen. There it is. And this is, uh... Everything's clear here at Johnson Bar. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, the run up and then we'll give clearance a call. Roger. And we already have it 23.850, it's already in there. Oh. New York, good morning. Uh, Mooney 688, 7 November, is that Orange County, runway 4? We have IFR in the system. Six eight eight seven November, you ready to copy this clearance? We're ready to copy, sir, for 8th of November. Hello, you're cleared from Orange County to Block Island as filed. On departure, you can maintain 3,000, expect 5,000 shortly after. Departure frequency 132.75, squawking 7143, hold for release. Okay, and just repeat, hold for release. Okay, okay clear to Block Island as filed, 3,000, we'll expect 5,000. Uh, in 10 minutes, uh, frequency 132.75, we're going to squawk 7143, and we'll be waiting for a release for 8th of November. So remember what runway are you coming off of, and when will you be ready? We're ready now, sir, and we're going to use runway 4 in Orange County. Okay, 9 7 Bravo Delta, New York, roger. And just start plugging in the flight plan Good also. One. And 8 7 November, your release for departure clearance void, if not off in 10 minutes. Time now, 31301. Okay, clearance is void if we're, off, if we're not off by 10 minutes for 8th of November. Awesome. So we have 10 minutes. Put in Perfect. Quick so we're do. Uh, so we, we filed for PWL. Uh, so we're going to go to P. Double. Six Alpha Golf, New York. Change my frequency. One three two seven five. Right there. Enter. Uh, then HFD, Hartford. HFD. Uh, no Victor uh, okay, Airway. Yeah, just, okay. just three VOR is pretty simple. It's easy. H F D is a delta. Right yep, there delta. it is. So we're gonna enter it. And then Groton. G O N. G Groton. G O. Oh, uh, no, back oh, one. Oh, yep. G O N. O N. Yep. Perfect. Enter. And then K B I D. Look at this door closed. K B I D. Enter. Oh, activate flight plan. And we'll go up to 3,000 initially, so we'll bug 3,000. That is, we're expecting five. Shortly after, shortly yeah. After. We got the weather here already when we came down here. And we're heading is uh, 075. Okay, so we're going to be an actual here, so just watch me. Yep, I'm, I gotcha. And, uh... Uh, I will try to not let you do anything. Thank you. Uh, silly. Do anything stu stu uh, stupid. <laughs> well, viewers, this will be the first Pilot Fun 101 breakout on top of actual IMC. Yes. As long as the cameras are working, we'll do yeah, that. Right. I okay. see a bunch of red lights. I think that means record. Yeah. And we're tonight traffic. Anybody short base a final for four? I'm going to put in 3275 in there. Hey, you're thinking. 
Orange County traffic, we're taking four for departure, Orange County. Okay, make sure full rich props will forward, fuel pump is on, lane light is on, we're trim for takeoff, flaps are 15, just watch for the Johnson bar. Yep. And we're good to go. I'm all clear of the Johnson bar. Thanks, bud. All right, let's roll. Let's do it. Everything's in the green, windows or doors are locked, seatbelts are on. I'm locked and belts on. Okay, here we go. And full power, full power is in. We're looking for 60 knots. Let's rotate. We're at 40. And 50. And 60. We're going to rotate. I'm hit that butterfly. All right, gear's coming up. Lock that in. He didn't say runway heading as filed. No, no. So you could you could pretty much one over here at right. a safe altitude head towards Pauling. Yep. And Burns County traffic. We need to partner pattern to the east. See ya. Okay, I'm gonna put flaps are coming up. Go to trim down a little bit and let's go over to New York. And we're going um direct to Pauling. In New York, good morning, uh, Mooney 688, center member off Orange County, climbing to 3,000. 87 November, ident. Ident, phrase center member. Center 5327, turn left heading 330. 87 November, your radar contact, two miles north, Orange County, altimeter 3018, climb and maintain 5,000. Climb maintain 5,000, phrase center member. Okay, 5,000. We're looking to climb. All right. Airspace ahead. Okay, fuel pump's coming off. Main light's coming off. Can I? You take lower. Huh? We are in the stuff already. Yep. It's pretty thin. I already see the tops. And there you go. There's your first breakout. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to 5,000. We'll pull the power back now. We're on the top already. Power's going back. We'll go 20, to 25, 25. Center 12557. Good. Yeah. 2280 direct merit and higher shortly. Good looking intercept to that course. We're getting there. That was pretty cool. First breakout. Oh yeah. Winds are light. Nothing beats it. Look how flat the bottoms are wow. of those clouds. That's awesome. Now, just because you're on top and VMC doesn't mean you're not selling instruments. Right. Because that's what I'm looking at. Can't trust that the horizon that the that you see on the distance is 100% accurate because the clouds could be uh, sloping either way. Right. Uh, but in VMC, you're still responsible for seeing a void. Climb maintain 1, 2,000 traffic, 1 o'clock, 10 miles. So it's a fair balance of both. 12, 3, regional. Everything's in the green. So we have the gear is up, flaps are up. So we're looking good right now. November, when able to shoot direct polling. When able to direct polling for 8th of November. Actually, you are on that course. Uh, seven six. Uh, you can hit maintain three thousand. You, because you're intercepting a course right now. So you could just direct that around there. Yeah, and then fly whatever that gives you. Okay. A little bit of lift. Yeah. Now the course heading is seven is zero seven six. It's right here. Endeavour 5327 direct coat. I felt a lot more comfortable with that clearance. Yeah. Um, and I felt a lot more comfortable going into clouds. Yeah. And it was the first time we did it, going to Nantucket. Yeah, I mean, it's good to see because as students yeah, progress, the instructor gets a lot quieter and quieter. Yeah. It's less to teach because you got it. 
Well, not less to teach, but less to be on top of, because you got it. Okay. So as long as you keep needles centered, then I'll shut up. <laughs> You've gotten better at that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, with more practice, seven, six, two, five, two, you one, become zero. more comfortable with everything. So, but you're so yeah, used to seven, six, two, one, you're zero. so used to flying VFR, yeah. you know, and when you're IFR, you really got to pay attention a lot more on the needles. Yeah. So when you call me Christopher, I'm like, I know I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> We're 25.8 miles to bowling. A bit of a slight. Uh, cross, uh, actually a uh, bit of a crosswind, but we're going to push it behind a little bit. Yeah, so that quarter ring. Blue 2280, Tommy 17000, Boston Center 12557. One thing we have to remember is the RNAV 10 at Block Island is not LPV. I know, we, got, we should really use the other one. Well, we'll see how the clouds or the weather is. Yeah, the, the, the weather, Oscar, Oscar, the Oscar, winds. Contact Boston Center 12557. The 28 is LPV. I was looking at it last night. Yeah. Gets us down. I think it gets us down to like. I'll look at it right now. What? Which one? The LPV? Yeah. Two fifty. Sure. But what is that? One hundred feet over the runway. Uh. Just waiting for center take. Oh, uh, so there. you see the three fifty eight there? Yep. That's your MSL. That's yep. what's going to be on your altimeter, and that little number there, just outside the parentheses, that's your AGL. So it gets you down to two hundred fifty feet above the ground. Over the ground, right? Yeah. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Right now, I see you have bug 076, and that's what your course is showing. So you see your blue heading bug. Yep. Now you see your your magenta uh, track up carrot. Yep. If you keep that right, right in the middle there. of the bug, you're good. You got no problem. Yep. Some people like to have their there's heading bug on their actual heading, center, one, three, two, which six. is just as fine. There's nothing wrong with it either way. Uh, and the way I see you've been predominantly doing it was keeping your heading bug on your course. I, all I got to do is keep. That carrot in seven six or eight miles heading bug. Sliding two four zero, maintain three thousand until established on localizer. Clear to ILS two. Which, in my opinion, looks easier. We're turning right to two four zero, maintain three thousand until established. We are clear for the ILS two. If it goes left, you go yeah, left. If it goes right, you go right. I'll just five zero higher shortly. You'll see. Once you get that autopilot, you'll actually be centering your heading bug to your actual heading, right. and then the autopilot will be holding your course for you. Remember that for the check ride. Two is that that's such an amazing tool. Carrot. It's such a cheat, but it's not because it's what you'll be doing in real world. Once that needle centers, put the carrot back. Right there, about right there, about. Now twenty three, twenty two, climbing one six thousand. Yeah, okay, four hundred feet to go for five thousand. Approaching altitude. Okay, two hundred feet. Feet. Start trimming down a little bit. United 2322, Pacific Gale. Okay, so 5,000, we're good. Beautiful. And we'll lean her out a little bit more. Toughness. over 24.8. All right, looking pretty good. So looking at here, looking at, how's the outside looking? Ah, that's freaking awesome. Yeah, it's, take some pictures for me. Yeah. Do you mind? Yeah, clicks for extract matter 520, 4000. Whiskey, New York, verify information, Charlie. Don't worry about it. 
Fly the plane. I'll pick up the Charlie, iPad. Uh, Fernando Francis is Rusky, and uh, for now I'd like to stay on Victor 213. We'll plan to cancel here a little bit further north. I think that's American north, Flyers. Uh, that airplane, area, 2 0 Rusky. The weather right now is low IFR, one and a half statute miles, 20 minutes ago, uh, fog. Overcast 300, which means ideally we break out. 605 top off, New York, see direct gale, climbing to 16,000. It'll be a nice breakout if we can do it. That's if we use 28. Yeah. So we'd have to use 28 probably. Yeah. Um, Unicom, AWOS. But I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put that in the standby just so we have it. All right. There you go. Keep flying that plane. Oh, I went back to it. Be that perfectionist, and you will never ever get off on altitude, of course. I notice sometimes when I'm flying, I. Instead of trimming, let the plane kind of just, I do like, kind of like this, I pull. Yeah. That's when I get myself into trouble. Yeah, and I find that this airplane actually... Touch it a little bit, it'll go up and down, this plane. Yeah, and in terms of bank, it always finds itself in a right turn. It could be because there's a lot of weight on the right side. Uh, pulls the airplane over. We got a, oh, now it's switched over to a uh, tailwind. We had a crosswind, so it was kind of being able to push us over a little bit. Yeah, yeah but look how slightly off-center oh. the carrot and the bug is, which is why that line goes a little bit to the left. Yep. We're at 5,000, so we're trimmed good right there, and let's so just, just lined up. Glance at your altitude, glance at the needle, if the needle's centered, okay, glance at your carrot, make sure it's still centered. If it's still centered, you're doing great. If it's slightly left or right, don't say, oh, it's mostly there, because right. Mostly there over the course of five miles gives you that off. slight little off course. Because good enough might be good enough at the moment, but in five minutes, good enough, you were slightly creeping off course for right. five minutes. Or five miles from Paul. Four miles, sorry. Alpha 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 contact New York Center 1326. The power way back, 23. Yeah. 141 true. That's insane. That's what I filed, 140. There you go, perfect. Ground speed's 150 knots. And you were in a slight climb. So, two and a half degrees actually puts you into like 150, 200 foot per minute climb and on the horizon puts you in a 150, 200 foot per minute descent. So keeping right like two degrees, not even, one and a half degrees, two degrees of pitch is exactly what you want. You're always pitched up, that's how you fly. Yeah, yeah, because you have to generate lift, right. even if you're level, you're still generating lift or else you Back would not be flying. Uh, okay, we're going to do the next leg in eight seconds, and that's going to be uh, 112 heading. All right, so bug it. Now just keep on this course until it changes. Boom, right there now it, it changes, now you turn. Riding three, two, zero. We got 4663, New York Center, 1326. Out of the altitude, course. Once that carrot centers, level. Right there. Beautiful. Now keep it. Oh, I've got to get your chargers in the back seat. That's all right. Okay. Looking good. We're not going to switch tanks quite yet. As this day goes on, the weather's going to, it's not going to clear, I don't think, but it's going to get better, yeah, the ceilings are going to rise down. and everything. Like 2 o'clock over there at, uh, at Block Island goes VFR. But our ETA
ETA weather forecast for 800 foot ceilings, which is better. Um, 550 feet above minimums. Um, so on my takeoff in the, in the clouds, how did I honestly do with... Good. Was it pitch too high? Was it just... So I was looking at everything, the airspeed, everything. Oh, yeah, 10 degrees. Uh, pit, between seven and a half and ten degrees pitch on climbing, on initial climb is where you want to be, and that's exactly okay. where you were. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, you handle ATC, both the Unicom at Orange and getting on with New York, just good. And uh, It's a lot going on when you first take off, and when you're landing, yeah. there's a lot going on. Of course. I, I get freaking nervous when they're walking really fast to me and this and that. Yeah. I know it's IFR, so you got to be really proficient, you know? Yeah. And I get, that's what I get nervous about. Yeah. But, but you know, I'm honest. With, I'm being honest with you. I have nothing to hide. I'm not perfect whatsoever. Nobody that's is. why when I get my ticket, if you're around, I'm still going to take a pilot, you of know, course. go in this stuff just to get used to it. Yeah. And, you know, because I'm not going to be, you know, 100% proficient. I might be at the time, but it's good to get practice and practice. Yeah. But in VFR day, I'm going to file, go to Columbia County, just file, get used yeah. to talking to everybody and the, and the, yeah. and the routes and everything else. Okay, 9520, if you'd like to cancel IFR, and uh, we'll be maneuvering in there. Same thing you did, right? Miles, Basically? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, once I got my IFR, IFR uh, I still went up with, with other available. IFR pilots. and two zero with the IFR cancellations received. Filed on VFR, VFR days. And uh, what altitude are you going to use? 4,500? So 5,000 feet. So we'll do 40, We're at 23, 20, over 24 and a half. And just 10 gallons an hour, 10 and a half gallons an hour. What turns are going to be going? 40 knots. Indicated. Indicated. Or uh, true airspeed. Roger that. We'll be yeah. at, uh, let's say about 5,000 feet. And that's 5,000 feet. If I was higher, it's going to be 5. That would be like 8 and a half. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, like when Pat was coming back and forth from Arizona, he was up a lot higher than 5, and he was burning like 7. Yeah. Doing good, though. Yep, doing good. I don't see any traffic outside. Let's see if I could pull anybody up on, like, ADSB. Well, Let's see minutes. who's around. I didn't see anybody around. Well, a lot of GA guys will be around because of the ceilings. Yeah. 6887 November, contact Bradley, 12395. 23.95 now for 8 November. Good day. Lemshire to set and maintain 2,500. 2,500 for Trinity Lemshire. Approach uh, Mooney 688 7 November is with you 5,000. November 688 7 November by the approach by the altimeter 3018. 3018 for 8 7 November. Beautiful. He gives you a frequency, you plug it in, you check your instruments, everything's still oh, okay. You switch your instruments, you look, everything's okay, and then you're talking, you're still looking at your instruments, everything's still okay. It's a big game of multitasking. Yep. That's what flying is. One good game of multitasking. Right now I'm going to switch tanks, so, um, are you a plane for a minute? Alright, my plane. Okay, fuel pump's coming on, I gotta take off my... Shoulder harness, we'll go to my side. Okay, looks pressure is good. Fuel pump coming off. And fuel pressure is good. Zero, zero, All right, zero, my plane. Seven miles from Your plane. Left heading zero, nine, zero, maintain 2,500 to establish cleared out with six approach. So, Block Island, how do you like the food at the restaurant? It's good. I like Ballard's. It's down at the beach. Okay. Um, it's yeah, really, take really me. Good. I mean, I've, like I said, I've, I've come here, but I've never stopped and stayed. I was only just a, like a touch and go. Or a Airport restaurant's back. okay, but they have really good lunches. And it's really cool down by the beach. Yeah, take it's not me. Gonna, it doesn't look like these are rain clouds, so. Oh. Um, there's some, look at that formation. Yeah, that's a pretty nice build up, but. We don't want to go in that. No, <laughs> uh, we we always deviate around stuff like that, even if it's not big and it's we Roger know it's not rain. It's still going to be turbulent because you can see the vertical development. Look at that! I bet you that's that cloud right there. It is. It is. Be cool, right? Central okay. aircraft has this weather information. Airmet Sierra update two for IFR and mountain observation valid until one five zero zero Zulu for New York. Further information available on flight service frequencies. Airmet Sierra for IFR until 15Z, so 11 a.m. 4415 is 11 4 1 1000, and we have India. So 
Southwest 4415 by the approach by the altimeter 3018. Expect vectors ILS from a six approach. We take Southwest 4415. Southwest 4415, descend and maintain 10,000. So what's your straight, so what's your straight level, Basie and IFR? You're really just listening to the radio and just following what they tell you to do. Yep. That's the easy part right now. Pretty much. IFR flying is boring. That's what we all say. It's boring. Because you get up here, you fly the route, and you talk to ATC every few minutes. Maybe. Things in the green, we're looking good on instruments wise. The engine's performing perfectly. Southwest 4415 to 7,000. But uh, how many hours are on your engine? Is uh, it like a, over 700? Oh, so I put, it's I a put lot a, of time. Yeah, I put a, I put uh, all the hours on it except for like 150 of it. It's amazing. <laughs> Last year I flew 150 hours, 140 yeah. to be exact. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know how because I wasn't flying a lot, I thought, but. I had and my over the course of a year, it got to quit. Up, but when, yeah. I, when I had my Grumman, I didn't fly a lot. I did fly a lot, but it takes forever to get to places. It yeah. only had 22 gallons. Yeah. Plus 44, yeah. This plane, you can go everywhere with it. And yeah. Yeah. Of course. Three, you, you don't carry much more fuel than some GA, but you go a lot faster at an equivalent or even less fuel burn. So right. it equates to more miles. First year I had this plane, I flew less, and re and I said, why I flew almost the same? I spent the main amount of money on, money on fuel. Yeah. It's because I was used to the Grumman, which yep. takes me longer to get there. Yeah. So in so turn, I took this. You I'm like, oh shit! I did more fuel. My hours dropped because the plane the plane gets there faster. Yep. Yep. So I was like, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's a very cost efficient plane. Unless you get the Bonanza. Yeah, right. That thing guzzles fuel. That's a that's an airliner though, that plane, man. Yeah. The, what are they, they, an average true, like 160-ish? No, no. That range, 170? Some guys say 160, 165, all yeah. depends. If you push it up a little bit, obviously, we'd be burning a lot more fuel, but. Yeah, and if you go higher, you get a better yeah. true airspeed and a less fuel burn. Yep. Thinner air. Those, main, those planes are made to travel, boy. You can be, get, you get up there. Yeah, that's why I want it. Yeah, and some, uh, but for what I do around here, this is a good traveler too if you want to go like absolutely. To somewhere far. But it's it's nice around here because you yeah. have to worry about your weight. You don't have to worry about it gets up and goes. Yeah. And all the little airports that we have in the area, even on high, hot, heavy days, yes. yep. still still performs. Some people tell me that the Bonanza has limited to no useful load, and I'm like, all I need is to carry a couple friends, yeah. a couple snowboards. That's halfway it. across the country in a timely and efficient manner. That's it. There'd be three of us on board. There'd be maybe, maybe, and this is very conservative, 200 pounds of cargo. Right. So we'd still most likely be able to take like. Mooney 8, 7 November, fly heading 150, vectors traffic, descending 3 altitude. 150 for 8, 7 November. Turn. Mooney 8, 7 November, traffic is a Boeing 737, send to the south northbound, descending out of 6,300. We're looking for the traffic for 8, 7 November. Southwest 4413, traffic, 10 o'clock, 10 miles on vector southeast, south behind, uh, 5,000 to Mooney. Southwest 4415. Chair 24, contact approach 125.35, good day. Yep. 5535, care to park. he's descending, so you don't want to climb into him. Nope. Keep that coming around to one five zero. Could be right in front of us. I see him. See him over there. Providence approach one one nine point four five. That's what we're being vectored for. Good day. Good day. He was going to cross our path and descend through it. So I tell him. Should I tell him in sight or no? Uh, no, because either way, when he clears his back direct to what Hartford. Yeah. If he did it now, then we'd still be heading towards that traffic. Mooney, 8-7 November, traffic is no factor. Proceed direct thumb, spell Tango, Hotel, Uniform, Mike Bravo. After some direct drop.
Then direct run? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do a direct to Tango Hotel Uniform Bravo, direct to Grant. Praise the number. Uh, close, it's a thumb, like the finger on your hand. Tango Hotel Uniform Mike Bravo. Tango Hotel Uniform Mike Bravo, praise the number. Roger, thanks. So we have to go to the flight plan. And you got to keep that 150 heading until, until like yeah. 2,500 and stuff at 4415. Uh, so we'll go direct to and one o'clock, two o'clock, six Thumb, miles, like this. three miles. Into You're on your hands. T H U. Yep, there it is. Enter. Enter. Shop plus forty four fifteen three. So one two zero heading zero three zero maintain two thousand. So once you get that in, you turn to it, fly it, and then you can set up. Uh, your destination or the next fix. In this case, just so happens to be our destination. Bradley approach. Good morning, care three. At least get started because if you care plug everything in, approach Bradley altimeter. Then you don't go direct to thumb. Then like, three, how you not direct one, thumb? Seven, three, you're off course. Now, when our direct, now we go to the next, which is a gap in the route. But, yeah. Uh, and is your carrot centered? Uh. No. As that needle begins to drift right, there, yeah, there you go. There we go. Now is Groton, uh, not Groton, uh... Was it Groton or was yeah, it Block he Island? Said, he said, no, he didn't say Block to Groton. Okay. I can, oh, I, can, so I can take this out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna delete the waypoint there. And then it's Thumb, Groton, and destination. destination. Yep. I don't know, for some reason in my head I heard, um... Direct at uh, Block Island after. There you go, we're good, buddy. We're on our way. Southwest 4415, safe flight conditions. Uh, we're uh, we're VMC on top, but uh, we're not quite in the uh, in the overcast yet. Roger, can you estimate that layer? Uh, maybe down about uh, 2,300 feet, maybe. I was going to say, like 2,000. And multiple layers above or clear above? Uh, the high clouds above, but mostly clear. Thank you, Southwest 4415, Tower 120.3. Over to Tower, Southwest 4415. I mean, 2 8 has the LPV. You want to use that? Yeah, and the winds are so light that it doesn't really matter. Yeah, because 170 really, yeah. I mean, it, it favors 10, 10. Gonna try 10? Uh, no, no, we're gonna go down because it's gonna be 300. We need the LPV. Exactly. Exactly. This is a perfect example of why it's nice to have the WAS. Yeah. Yeah, because if you want to go somewhere with an RNAV, if it has LPV capability and you have WAS, there you go. Well, let's just look at it. I mean, we're we're looking good here, heading altitude. Uh, a little bit to the left here. Um, so if we go to procedure and we go to two eight, or oh, yeah, the view, oh, or now obviously it gets us lower. So we have to go out. Charlie Fox, Charlie Lima, turn around. Your call. Just to maintain three thousand. Yeah, so uh, let me say, how do you, you pull it up? To Suffolk. How do you pull it up on info? Yeah, play. There you go. And, and then two eight. Two eight. Oop, it's okay. Play and then scroll. To double, yeah, double click. There you go. Uh, we're going to the, the Grant, go to Suffolk, but we get an extra waypoint. They were going kind of almost in that direction, so it's almost... Yeah. A uh, 10 will be like a U-turn. Not a U-turn. Maybe a correct reversal. <laughs> yeah, doing it from Suffolk. That's what it's oh, no. no, you know what that is? That's the whole approach, so... That's the whole approach. Yeah, so we were just loaded from Wave on, which is on the uh, final approach course, because Suffolk is your missed approach. Yep. You, oh, yes. You couldn't see that from all the way out. True. You do but, think you see it. Yeah. I'm looking at down here, and I'm like, Suffolk's a hole. If I did an LPV, let's just put it in, and then we want to go to... Do it from Wave on. Wave on, where it is... It shows you... <coughs> Excuse yeah. me. We can, we'll put it in, but we just want to activate it, yes. Yeah. Unless you right. want to activate it, it doesn't really matter. Oh, no, because if you activate it, it'll go direct wave on. Okay. And I didn't activate it. Yeah. Actually, don't let me delete the approach for now. 
might have vacuumed yeah. already. Yeah, get rid of it. All right, leave it like that for now. Especially because it actually put in a gap, so it put in Groton, then wave on, and that's not what we were cleared for. Right. So, once we're closer, we could request it, and then and they'll tell you, go direct this It's easy that. to do, to do it real quick. Yeah. Okay, we're all looking good. Temperatures are good, instruments are good, we're all in the green. Uh, fuel is good, we have plenty. We did oh, yeah. file for an alternate to go back to orange because we have plenty of fuel. Yeah. Our ceilings when we left, when we left were a thousand feet and they're only going up, so. Yeah. Ceilings are a thousand, the ILS gets it down to 200, so you'd be okay. VMC for 800, in right. theory, should everything be accurate. 53 miles from uh, Block Island. Mooney 87 November, contact Providence Approach, 119.45. Good day. 119.45 now for 87 November. Good day, sir. Good day. Care 308. Providence, good morning. Mooney 6887 November is with you, 5000. Yeah, we're 6887 November, Providence Approach, Providence Health Center 3018. 3018 for 87 November. We use two eight, right? Yep. Here, six expect to lower shortly. Let's, we could brief it now. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're six three nine Tango Charlie Providence approach radar contact. Come and maintain one zero thousand. Yeah, there's Keep no right or wrong time to brief an approach. I mean, too late is obviously not good, but right. other than that, there's pretty much no right and wrong time. The course is two seven nine. We have runway is two thousand five hundred two. Touchdown zone one hundred eight. And elevation is one hundred eight. Um, we got the DME. Um, Ring is 8465, turn right. If local altimeter setting is not received, use westerly altimeter and you're going to add a 50, 40 feet to that. Um, that's nothing really. We got the weather, it's perfect weather today. Don't worry about freezing temperatures. Uh, and we're going to turn the right turn in 143. So let's do that. We'll bug 143. Why you want a pretty good right? Oh, there you go. I turn 14. I was like, I. I forgot we were coming up on thumb. Yeah, that's, I just saw that. I was like, where are you going, Chris? Where are we going? <laughs> that's Don't do me like this. You're doing so I was, good. I was hoping to say, Christopher. Oh, but you're doing... I did it. You're, you're keeping ahead of me. I got to be is, ahead of you. Yeah, you really do. You're one of the best instructors out there. I'm oh, a, far I'm from that. <laughs> okay, so... We got the misapproach. Let's get back. Let me look back. I'm getting on the... My uh, heading here, we're good, 5,000, perfect. Okay, Miss Approach, climb to 1,500, direct to Sugda, I guess that sounds like, and hold Sugda, I guess. And, and, yeah, and hold track 287 to Suffolk and hold. Okay, so we have the WASP, we already listed our weather. We have Providence already in there for the, uh, if we don't need clearance, intercom is one, two, three. Uh, zero, zero, I could put that in because she's going to be our last person to talk to. Probably, yeah. Most likely, so that's in there. Um, and we're going to set our minimums here. So the, well, it depends where they, she send us. Waven? No, that's, I can so, brief yeah, it. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably go to Waven. So, I mean, yeah, you just, you brief the final, you brief everything. Yeah. But then you come down to the profile view and you brief the final right. approach course. Because your yeah, approach course Delta that you briefed up there is 279. Delta you Delta see that here? 79. And this is everything on the final. Waven is, form, is on the final. Then block. block. 1500. Delta and then the, the, the runway 28 um, is your final. Is your, is your approach point. It's your approach uh, point. Right heading 300. Um, we get back on course. So we'll go back a little bit of left turn here. And looking good. We're at 5,000. Okay, the LPV. The minimums yeah, are 358, so we're going to set the minimums. Uh, I don't have 8, so I'm going to do 60, so uh, 360. Exactly. So 360 is entered. We're good there. Now, if I don't have the LPV, the next minimums would be the 570. A firm. Yeah, number nine, Tango Charlie, contact Boston Center, 124.85. And we would know that on the uh, leg of wave on Delta block. That's so, we got the, 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 uh, the, the missed approach. The missed approach is already automatically in here. Once, you, once we activate the approach, you'll already be in there. 
which is nice as another backup, which is nice. Yeah, so it sequences for you. Yep. Whereas yeah, some Garmin products, you have to make Sierra it Gold, sequence. 1945. So we are one, there, Gold, everything is set. The only thing we're gonna do is get her approval for the two-way approach. Yeah, yeah, but we gave our request and she put it down on the on the strip and too far to do anything for, for that yet. So. 85 vertical miles out. Yeah. Yeah, now we have a 16 knot due crosswind. Yes, we do. You can see the plane. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to start slowing down. Okay, number 159, November 3rd. 25 Thunder. miles First out. Five Let's just start slowing this plane down, down so I don't have to get right away to all this stuff. Yeah. Oh, I just broke 900 hours, flight okay, hours. 9, November 3rd, radar contact, one mile southeast. Congratulations. Of Providence, Health, What's your total time? Uh, Somewhere. I think about where you're at, right? Yeah. Lincoln's 8465, contact tower 120.7. I didn't fly a lot back when I first started. Good morning. Camera yeah, 9, November 0, turn right heading 220, vector towards Putnam. Are there any golf courses out here on Block Island? No, oh, there's one. It's a vineyard, I think. Yeah, I think Martha's Vineyard does have one. Yeah, I see. Here on the sectional golf yeah, course. November here. Come and maintain eight That's thousand. That's Martha's venue. Right heading two eight zero. Nantucket also does. As that does. Multiple, multiple courses. I just started. I just picked up golf, and it's a it's a lot of fun. It's fun. Yeah. Southwest fifty two fifty six seven miles from Chesapeake. Turn right heading zero two zero. Maintain two thousand until established on the localizer. Cleared IMS runway five approach. 23 miles from block. Orange oh, approach, good morning. 425 Lima Hotel, 67,000. Yeah, number 425 Lima Hotel, Providence approach. Providence South Center, 3019er. 3019er, Lima Hotel. Good yeah, speed. Yeah, number 9, November 3rd, number 1,000. Yeah, so now you can load yeah, it. Number 9, November 3rd, contact. Now it's got you going direct to the destination at this point. Okay, the RNAV, LPV, 28. Yep. I'm going to hit that. And we're so going to wave do, on. Yep. Uh, wave on is right here. Enter. There you go. We're going to activate the approach. Okay. Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Airport information. That's here now, correct? Okay, so we're looking good there. Because again, if you activate, then it's going to wave on. Right. But she's probably going to put us on vectors for the downwind. She's going to get us vectored on the downwind. And then she's going to say, turn heading, whatever, whichever down when she puts us on. And she's going to say, you're X miles from wave on, turn this heading, maintain, uh, what, 20, 2,000 till established? Yeah, 2,000 till established, and clear the r and She needs to start bringing us down, though, soon. We're, uh, 19 miles out. November 8, 7 November, fly heading 100, vector to final. 100 vector to final for 8th of November. There you go, there's your vector. Which, I mean, this looks like a vector to 1 zero, but we'll see. Yeah, right, because we're almost on that. Oh, you know what? I'm lying to you. She's putting us on the, the uh, right now one. Okay. All right, we're six miles. I'm going to start sewing her down, right, bud? November 8, 7 November, I have your IFR cancellation procedures when you're ready. Ready to copy for 8, 7 November. November 8, 7 November, you can report cancellation of your IFR either in the air on this frequency or after you get on the ground on frequency 120.1. Okay, 120.1 in the air or on the ground for 8, 7 November. November 8, 7 November, descend to maintain 3,000. Descend to maintain 3,000 now for 8, 7 November. Landlight's coming on. Okay, 1,000 feet to go. Okay, on that Roger. 100 heading again. A little bit off. Nice wind, 13. Yeah, pushing us right along. Okay, number 701, Sierra Gulf, contact New York approach, 125.9 or 7. 125.9 or 7. Start doing the RNAV 28. Stay firm. Okay, we're all set. You guys got to activate the approach. We're ready. Okay, 200 feet to go. Approaching altitude. Okay, 
going to start lifting up the nose a little bit. Okay, leveling off. Slowing down nicely. Eight miles out. We'll pull the power back a little bit more. Yeah. With our set, 360. So now we're on a downwind, so we're expecting a turn. You're right. And towards we're final. going to intercept. Exactly. And she's going to say maintain an altitude till established on the final approach course. So we're expecting that long-winded instruction. We're going uh, to mess up. Oh, so think about it. What she's going to say, turn to her heading. We have to repeat turn to the heading, right? right. You always do. Yep, no course. matter who, VFR, IFR, tower, center. If ATC says turn to her heading, you repeat that. So that's something you're going to repeat. Uh, maintain an altitude until established. Yeah, if they tell you to maintain an altitude, you have to read that back. Maintain this altitude. And when they say you're clear for the approach, you, you repeat back, clear for the approach. We are expecting that long-winded uh, instruction at some point soon. Number 87 November, turn right heading 130. Right 130 for 87 November. Burn gear speed. That might change. Okay, 3000 to 130 heading. So looking good. Chancellor 311 Bravo Tango uh, B7 climbing 9000. Number 311 Bravo Tango Province, Approach Province, altimeter 3019. -er. We have Block Island Unicoms in there to talk to them. Good. All right, activate the approach. We're activated. No, no, you just keep flying the heading. Yeah, you keep flying the heading. Yep. Waving's right there. Just yep. And see what he's doing to us? He's creeping us towards our final. And it's GPS is going to go to LPV. Yep. That's how you know it's work. The uh, We have the uh, WAS. Yeah. Okay, 3,000, 130. Looking good. Air is nice and stable. I like that. You know, the yeah. crosswind, 11 knot crosswind, we're, we're pretty stable. Yeah, it's really smooth today. Really smooth today. 35, problem approach, problem itself, altimeter 3019er. Now, if I wanted to, I'm just saying, just for uh, just talking eight, here. Seven November, turn right heading 190. 190 now for 8 November. And once I hit wave, then I can go down to 1500. Yes. I should have the uh, glide path should be activated by then. Yeah, in the leg of Waven to, uh, uh, what's the final approach fix? I have it here. Block. Right, block. Uh, Waven to block, LPV comes alive. That's what we uh, we found last time. Yes. That LPV activates on the leg to the final approach fix. Blue Streak 5119, turn left direct, put them on fourth. But they're socked in down there for sure. Yeah. That's why there's no... no Visibility went up, but the ceiling is still 300, so we're good. Um, Visibility is good. Yeah, I mean, two miles of waving, we should, uh... We could nudge him and say, hey, are we clear for the approach? I get pissed, no? No, I mean, <laughs> under two miles from final. Get approach, uh, Moody 6887 number. Are we clear for the tweet, tweet approach? Right, 7 November, 6 miles from the final approach fix, turn right heading 250, maintain 3000 until established in the final approach course, cleared RNAV runway 28 approach block island. Okay, we're 250 on the heading, maintain uh, 3000, and we're cleared for approach, RNAV approach 28, 8 November. So turn 250. 250. Speak 5119, contact Boston Center on 133.4. Okay, so let's get, let's get one notch in, two notches in. We'll Yep. Uh, approach flaps. That turn coming because we're gonna. Yep. yep. Yeah. Because we're kind of like on zero. the final here. We're gonna see that sequence. And we're so there's on. your horizontal. Oh, baby, come on. And vertical. So now fly that. It's coming needle. in. It's yep. coming in. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna to gas. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna do gear. So I want to get a head start on that. Yep. The gas undercarriage coming down. We have a green light. Indicated, and then we're going to maintain 3,000 until established, which we are established. We are established, and look, you have vertical guidance. Vertical so, guidance. so now I can go down fly your needles minimums. to the runway. Yep. Exactly. So minimums are 360, so I'm going to put a 360. 
here as well. And whether to just follow everything down. All your needles. The course is 278. Just bug that so I have it there. There you go. And uh, notches of flaps. And Black Island traffic, Moody 688, center members on an or never approach 287 miles out. Black Island traffic. Okay, let's get back up here, a little power. There you go. It's coming back. Middle left of course, right of course. Yeah, right ever so slightly, correct. and you have an ever so slight correction, so that's okay. Make sure this is still like on. In five miles, I will put in full flaps. For seven miles. All right, now you glide back. Then pull the power. Keep chasing those needles. One more notch so we can get set up with this trim. Okay, we're a little, little, little low, but not real. Uh, a little bit high. Can you see? 350 feet per minute down. 300 Perfect. feet. Block Island traffic. Moody's six miles out now. Or an approach uh, two eight. Block Island. Full stop. Okay, looking good. Just clicked five times for lights. I don't know if they're on to begin with, but. We're five miles, two and a half miles. We're a little, little high or low. Little power. Effective. Pitch and power, pitch and power. Plane flies the same whether you can see or not. Basics are still the basics. We're a little right, of course, by just a smidgen. That's the crosswind of eight. Uh, yep. We're going to pitch in to the left a little bit. Black Island traffic, but he's now five miles out. They aren't ever approached two eight. Black Island traffic. And we're going to do full, we are full flaps. We are ready for landing. Configured for landing, we have gas undercarriage mixer prop. Watch our speed. Now just watch those needles. Four watch. miles out. Do you see how you went from a two and a half degree nose down and 300 yep. feet to five degrees and 700 feet? And then look at your glide path. Yep. Now it's above you. Above. Because you dove under it. Very good. Don't be confused that you're flying sideways. If that needle's centered, everybody's safe. Yep. Your nose could be pointing east for all I care, <laughs> as long as we're going to our runway. Black Island traffic, 33 miles out the RF, uh, 28 Black Island. Gas, a check undercarriage mixture prop speed, seat belts are on. I'm gonna climb up a little time, just a little low here. We're gonna we get the 70 knots, we're doing really good to not speed. Let's get these needles down. Okay, we're two and a half. Black on traffic, Mooney is short final. 2-8, RNAV, approach, what time? That makes seeing the runway a lot easier. Yep. So we're going to slow down a little bit more here. Okay. Looking good. About 500 feet per minimums. Below. Hour. Exactly. Good. A little high. The wind just keep blowing you. Yep, a little bit. I can feel it too. I'm using the rudder as much as I can here. Push this off a little bit. A little high. We're good. Left. 600. Uh, Go left. 300 feet. 300 feet for minimums. I'm going to remind her here shortly. 500. Uh, 500 feet over the ground. A little high. A little bit right of course. Correcting.
Approaching altitude. Approaching minimums, 200 feet per minimums. Approaching minimums. Yeah. Here within the next 100, 150 feet. Push me over to the right. You see that? Last yeah. minute, it just changed on me. Get a little low here. We'll yeah. Power up. Okay, looking good. 75 knots are looking good. 100 feet. Ground contact. Ground contact. Minimums. Minimums. I have approach lights. You can keep it going. I have approach lights. on the glide. And you will see, you see the runway? I see the runway, the runway's in sight. It's been, I saw on the site back there. There you go. Now pitch and power, the plane flies the same. Leaving altitude. Very good. Nice. Hey, beautiful, look at those birds on the runway straight ahead. You see I know, them? I see them. Get away, beep beep. Yeah, right. Perfect. Don't cut those in half, that'd be bad. Yeah, right. Minimum. Open that door. We made it to Block Island at minimums. On the runway. That was, that was interesting. What do you think? That was awesome. I'm going to turn this off now. I mean, it's, it's practically dead to begin with, but... They're all kind of died on me. Block Island traffic. Mooney clear to wait block. Now, Mooney to your right, uh, any of the open tees for parking. Thank you, sir.